Hi, I'm Marissa Garone at Regency Fresh Test Kitchen. Today we're going to be making blueberry cheesecake macarons. So to make the blueberry shells, I have freeze-dried blueberries, but we ground them up in a food processor to get them ground. So I have 5 grams of these, I have 53 grams of egg whites, I have some blue food coloring, 50 grams of white granulated sugar, 50 grams of powdered sugar, and 70 grams of almond flour. So now we're gonna sift together some of our dry ingredients. So we're gonna sift together the almond flour, the powdered sugar, um, and the ground up blueberries, if they wanna come out. Technical difficulties. So now we're just gonna sift those together. Yeah, this takes a minute. Okay, so now we have our sifted ingredients. And now in the stand mixer, we're gonna take our 53 grams of egg whites and put it in there. And we're going to whisk that until it's frothy. Oh, and this is on medium speed. That, that should be good. And now we are going to add in our 50 grams of sugar. and we're gonna beat that on high speed. All right, so, hold on. So now we've beaten our egg whites for about, let's say five minutes. And we've got some stiff peaks, so it's nice and thick and, and forms, well, stiff peaks. Can hold itself up. So now, we're actually gonna have to put this back on because we need to beat in the food coloring. Now we're adding in two drops of blue food coloring and we're gonna beat that until it is well combined. One, two. So about 30 seconds. All right. Now we can take it off. So now we've got our blue egg whites 
and we've got our almond flour mixture. So now we're gonna, now we're gonna put in about a third of this mixture and we're just gonna gently fold it in with our spatula. So we're just gonna go down and over, down and over. And you also wanna re rotate the bowl um, in quarter movements. So down and over, turn, down and over, turn, down and over, turn, down and over, turn. So we wanna mix that just until it's combined. Then we're gonna add the other part, the other third. So we're just gonna repeat that process. Down and over, turn, down, 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 over, turn. And then we're just gonna add in that last part of our mixture. Down, over, turn, down, over, turn, down, over, turn, down, over, turn, down, over, turn. And finally, the last part. So now that we've got our mixture, this is the shell mixture. So now that we've got that, we're gonna transfer it to a piping bag. So we've got our mixture and we're just gonna be able to transfer that. Now I put my piping bag in a cup just for the, just because it's a lot easier. Now, if you got a little bit on the sides, that's okay. You may just want to wipe it off before you actually begin piping. So now we have our mixture in the piping bag and we need to get a sheet pan lined with parchment paper to put it on. So now we've got our mixture. It's quite a nice blue and it tastes like blueberries. So we've got our mixture and we're just gonna cut off a tiny bit. Okay, so now we're just gonna start piping about circles that are about one inch in diameter. And you're gonna start from the middle. You're kind of just gonna pipe it around. So you're gonna start from the middle and say, huh, that's about, or that's about big enough. It's about half an inch to one inch big. And you're just gonna keep piping that until you run out or you fill the pan. Now you can buy macaron mats that have the, that have like an outline of where you need to pipe, but I don't have one of those right now. So we're just gonna keep piping. and you wanna be placing them about half an inch to one inch apart. So I always like to make a few testers on the side, just so you know that the macaron is good after it's baked. Okay. 
and that's about that. Now that we've got our macarons, we're gonna leave these to rest for about 45 minutes or until they get a skin on top. And you wanna get the skin so that you can form feet. So that you can form the feet, which will let the air flow out and it'll be a nice big macaron. So while the macarons are baking, we're gonna make our blueberry cheesecake filling. So for this, we're gonna need half a cup of butter, um, a quarter cup of cream cheese, 30, or a third of a cup of powdered sugar, a teaspoon of vanilla extract, and about a quarter cup of blueberry, of the crushed up blueberries. So, so we're going to beat together our butter. Oops, slide in there. Beat together our butter and cream cheese. You should get in there. So, so we're going to beat that together for about three minutes on medium high speed or until fluffy with a pale color. So we are going to scrape down the sides of this, of the bowl, and we're going to leave that, we're going to leave that to whip for another minute or so. Okay, so it's been about another minute of the butter and cream cheese beating on medium high speed. So now we are going to add our powdered sugar, vanilla, and blueberries. Oh no, we're just gonna add our powdered sugar and vanilla. So we're gonna add that in. And our one teaspoon of vanilla. We're gonna scrape down the sides again just so everything can get incorporated. Now, if your buttercream happens to split, you can add extra powdered sugar until um, it doesn't look very split, until it looks nice and smooth like a buttercream should be. So now we are going to add in our ground blueberries. So now we're just gonna beat that in and then that will be our buttercream. And then, and then we'll get to put that in a piping bag and pipe it onto the macarons. Although before we could do that, we're going to just wipe down these sides once more. And this is also turning a nice purpley color. All right. 
So now that we've got that, let me take this off and show you. So that, now that we've got this, we're gonna one, wipe off the paddle. Now you can use a whisk for this, or you can, use a, you can also use a whisk attachment for this, but we're just using a paddle. So we're gonna do that. There, and just gonna make sure it's incorporated. And now it's that time again. We get to put it back into a piping bag. Well, not back, we just get a, to put it into a piping bag. <laughs> So all this is. So, by now the macarons should be out. If this will allow it. By now the macarons should be out and we will be able to pipe them. There they are. So we've got our buttercream in the piping bag. So we're just gonna Squeeze it to as far as the end it can go, and now we're just gonna cut off that edge. There we go. So now we can push this all to the end, and we can start what I do personally is I make the matches with the macarons before I pipe them. So like I find which one is gonna pair up with which one so that it's just easier to know and they will look as uniform as possible. So now that I have paired these up, I am just going to start by piping a little dollop in the center. And then I'm going to just squish it together like that. And you've got a macaron. Now I'm just to repeat that for all the others. So we're just going to pipe a dollop, smush it together. Pipe a dollop, smush it together. Is that all of them? Yep, it's all of them. And maybe you'll have a little bit extra just to take a little taste. <laughs> By the way, that is very good. So now we've got our macarons and you have to let these sit in the fridge for a day so that the flavors can meld together and it will be even more it will be even more tastier than it is right now. So here's our finished product. Um, we went ahead and added some freeze-dried blueberries that didn't get grinded with a little bit of the leftover buttercream and we put them on top and so it just looks nice. And then we added some colored sugar around just for the sake of presentation. Thanks for joining us. Happy baking.